Hey, 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 this is Natasha Nurse, and I am speaking with the one and only Nicole Kobe. How are you? Hi, Natasha. I'm very fine. Thank you for having me today. Absolutely. So I personally, I, I adore your work and your art, and so I'm super excited that you're a part of the Sisters on Fire series. So can Thank you, you first, so much. Absolutely. Can you, can you tell us, like, how you became an illustrator and and why you're, you know, why you chose to make the art that you do? Uh, um, actually, I always do drawing. As a kid, it was my passion. I always do it. And uh, I stopped drawing uh, after, after my gradu graduate because I couldn't find a job and I decided to work in corporate. But when I was working in corporate, I was always like feeling like, incomplete something was missing to me and actually i spent more time to draw on my contract more than um really working but um i finally i realized that something was missing um on social media on um some bloggers, uh, illustrators they used to illustrate also but they never illustrate black women mm. also as a, a student i you well, i study Heart history in France. I never found any black women in in painting, and I was so frustrating. Mm. So I decided to not complain about that and to try to do it by my own. Maybe paint, to paint with black women and and to start my web my own website and to post my my illustration on on social media and mm. it's how i start actually just because I, I, I didn't find this image of black women i was looking for this illustration of myself my friends my kids and i and i decided to do it by my home yeah wonderful now what was the response like in in france what were were people oh. like really receptive to your art Actually, you know, France is not like the U.S. We are, we we don't have black community. We can have black community in France because we can we can have any quotas. We can say there are five percent of black person in France or ten percent because the law not uh, um, we can do it. It's like um, something like racism. So mm -hmm. uh, when I start doing this, black people don't. Uh, come to me and support me at first because uh, they are afraid to be uh, like um, in illegal or something like that because um, the thing is as black we can support each other uh, and say um, we, we can be as a community but the thing is I realized that we, they, they, they told us, they raised us and told us all the time you can be uh, do something for black you have to do something for the, the french community for all french people we are we are all one community but the thing is when i i saw my my, my white friends then they they are illustrator also they illustrate for white people people think it's great mm. but when you black you try to do something for your, your for black french is this is seen as racism so i uh, mm. i, I thought, um yeah, and I totally understand that black French don't support me because they, they are afraid about this, this because we always been like uh, raised like this. We always live in, a, in this country and it's how things happen here. But actually, I don't always have the same support from um, uh, the other countries uh, in France because of all this government, all this, this um, yeah, it, it's how French people are. And uh but now, like you, uh, America, the other countries uh, accept and love my artwork. Black French people come to me and say, "Oh, thank you for what you are doing. You actually um, broke the ba ba barriers. You say you you broke okay. some the, the yeah all these things. And I'm happy to make more things here in 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 France in and Europe. And yeah, actually, I think sometimes we have to to do think right when we think. Uh, we, we think are right. We just have to do it. Even so, people will criticize us. Uh, um, I just think we have to to fight and to to do what we think is right for our people. Also, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it, and that's so interesting because I didn't know that about the French community. That it seems it's it's more difficult for Black people to commute, like to come together, like you're saying, as it would be here. Because we in America, we exactly. already I feel like we we feel like there's a struggle between finding, you know, unity amongst us and, and having that be public, but it seems like it's even worse 
in, in France. No, no, no. You, you know what? I, 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 as a French person, as all black French person, actually, we all watch uh, the U.S. What you're doing when we look, we're looking for uh, a, um, a restaurant stays. When I, I mm-hmm. remember when I, I was a kid, I was like 14, and the teacher asked me, "Who is your favorite?" Um, Actress, I say Gabrielle Gabriel Union. Mm. I say Oprah. I say I can I can find anyone in France because actually they never want black people to support black people, and we don't have any actress. Oh, we have, we have maybe one or two, but the thing is, um, you the US, you have a lot of um, black French, African French, because actually everything you 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 raise yourself like a real community black. Black people in the U.S. are a real community. You support oh. black business, you support black doctors, you support all these black kids. But actually, and you are strong. You, for me, for us, you are a strong community. And you inspire so many black person all around the world. And I, I, I grew up with black, black uh, African-American um, book, uh, African-American um, you know, songs. So we, uh, I'm not the only one. And actually, yeah, it's totally hypocrite because they say, in Europe, we all, we all, in France, we all are one community, but actually, mm-hmm. of course, we are one community. Uh, I'm French as they are, but the thing is, when you're looking for a job and you are black, be sure you will, you will be paid uh, less than a white person and you can find a job ju- just easily as a white person. When you're mm-hmm. looking for a home, when they see your face or your name, Sometimes you you African American you have American name you have you English name I don't know <laughs> but in France mm-hmm. actually we have our you know our back um, our grandparents our parents name who are most of time Africans or from the car well, yes yeah, most of African uh, mm-hmm. or some of or I don't know some other countries so the thing is they always recognize your name that your name is not totally French, French, you know, and mm. you have another background. And this is more difficult for us, actually. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So how has being like a woman affected y- your uh, rise and, and success as an illustrator and an artist? Uh, actually, being a woman motivated me more than I, I affect me. I okay. it, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, because it's like... Um, there are not enough women uh, as artists, you know, and it's like um, women artists are always, and women entrepreneurs are, are always seen like less than men. So um, I think it was a motivation for me. It's, it's like, I'm a woman, I can do anything I want, and I want to do anything I want. I'm a black woman, I have to. I have to. So, uh, yeah, I don't think they are always bad, but I, I want to, to remember more. The, um, the best way uh, that the baddest. I don't know if you, not, mm-hmm. you understand. Mm-hmm. If you don't, let me know. <laughs> no, I get you. Wonderful. Okay, so it kind of motivates you to to push more and to break down more barriers than than as a exactly artist. exactly. It's maybe it's, it's my own temper. It's how I am. You know, I'm I'm this Aries girl. Aries, you know, in astrology, I don't know if it's very important, but for me, sometimes I feel it's very important. Um, I, when I want something, I will do my best to have it. I will fight my my best to have it. I, I, no one can can stop me, actually. And yeah, even men. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> and how did you like come to be so determined that you wanted to be an artist? Because like here in the states, sometimes. I feel like some people are afraid to be artists and be more creative because, you know, you know why not go and be traditional, right? Why not be a professor or a lawyer, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Were yeah. you afraid but I, I think, to, to do that and, uh, like, be an artist? I told you, when I thought I was, uh, I, uh, I finished my school, I, I, I finalized my school, I was, like, my teacher told me you have to to you you can find a job actually if you do this if you only draw black women you can find and I listened to her. Of course, people mm. want you, want to see you in uh, an office having uh, you know regular job all these things. Of course, but you know I think it's also how you are, how your your temper is, who you are. I'm actually this girl. Um, you know, life is not always easy, but I believe in myself. I know that I want the best for myself. So actually, for me, the thing is, of course, you will always uh, have 
someone who will come to you and say, this is bad, who criticize you because you take your this decision or this one. But the thing is, you have to listen yourself. When you think something is good for you, you have to do it. And you will be happier like that. And it's definitely when I done, when I quit my job, um, incorporate, mm -hmm. I, my friends told me, you will, oh, Nikki, you're crazy. You look at the job. You have a good job. You have good money, all these things. And I was like, you know what? I know what I want. I want to do this. And I will give, uh, I will try to do it for three, four years. And then I will see. And I do my best. I, I, and the thing is, we have to listen to ourselves. Even so, our friends, of course, our friends, our husband, parents love us. But the thing mm -hmm. is, it's what makes you happy. Absolutely. Believe in yourself. It's about to believe in yourself and doing your best. Mm, okay. So now yeah. tell me a little bit about, you have a, you do a tour, right? Where you take your art and you, you go here in the States and other places, right? Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, this is, you know, as I say, um, is I just, uh, from I'm in Paris actually, and I always, uh, I still live there. And the thing is, I always receive many messages from people or from the U.S., from other countries, Brazil, the U.K., and ask me, please come here, visit us, and this and that. And I was like, um, why not? Let, let's try. And mm -hmm. I, I just decided to try to make to visit few few cities, and I was invited in, in Montreal and, and mm -hmm. Toronto in Canada. This was my first exhibition, and I was uh, when I went there, I will I realized that people really love my 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 artwork, and I didn't uh, expect that. I was like, "What's happened here? I'm just Nicole Kobe," <laughs> and people was come, yeah, I was you know you know being French is all these things. You have to be so humble. You have, you can say, "Oh yeah, I am." You know you have to be always humble, and it's maybe how I am also. And I didn't I didn't realize all this person come just to see my artwork. I was like, "Really? What's happened here?" You know, and I was. Uh, finally, I realized people want to see my artwork, and I was like, okay, let's try try to 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 see and to go where people buy most my stuff, and uh, because I have a website also, and I realized in some cities like New York, Washington, people, uh, and also LA, Atlanta, all these big cities, people love my stuff, and I was like, let's try. I can just go and try to see and meet this person who actually love my art or who always give me love and I want to give them love back also so I decided to 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 start this tour last year and actually it wasn't easy because uh it was I was retired exhausting but it was a really great experience and a successful experience for me actually because I I done it by my own with my small money and it was a great experience and this year actually yeah I we we, we continue the tour yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. And I guess what I would say is, um, what have you learned so far, like from your career? What has been the most meaningful thing that you've learned as an artist, as as a as a person of color who is being true to the, yourself? Like, what what's the biggest lesson learned? Uh, as an artist, I learn as a human being, I learned that we can do anything we want. Actually, we just mm -hmm. have to to believe in ourselves, to believe in our instincts, to believe in the universe, to this voice inside of us. And to be one, and the most important thing maybe is me, is to be humble, humble and good. Mm -hmm. Humble and good to people and good things will, will come back to you. And also one thing I discovered about being a black woman is you can live in the U.S., you can live in, in Brazil, you can whatever, in the West Coast, West Coast, East Coast, North, South uh, of the U.S. But the thing is, we all have the same struggles, actually. We all um, have to fight more than the other uh, community in the world. And we come from, we have so many traumatized as black person, and we have to fight and to live with that every day and you know um yeah definitely as a black person we from the as i say from the u.s to europe we 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 have to be united it's always when i think we we ha we have to to believe that uh we can all um we, we are a big a great a big um community actually not only in the u.s not only in europe not only in brazil black community is more than only european community u.s community 
uh, and the Caribbean. Oh, for me, it's really that. It's what I realized. All this person I meet, I just learned you all are, we, we all are the same. We all are black person uh, trying to fight against all these things they 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 done to us, all these things they think about us, and yeah, definitely it's what I learned. It's more and more I know that black community is more than uh, more than just only my country, my continent is more than this. The Afro community, the Afro descendants are more than just um, myself because we all have one one. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that. Okay, so now that leads perfectly to ca- talking about, you know, Sisters on Fire and why we definitely appreciate you and call you a Sister on Fire because you are completely, you know, unapologetic about doing what you want to do and celebrating Black women, which is, you know, so needed in the in this world and, uh, and internationally, definitely. And so for yeah. us, we started the Sisters on Fire as a play that was actually started mm-hmm. and known as Diary of a Mad Black Feminist and is now mm. um, later. Nice. Yeah, Sisters on Fire. And it was started by my mother-in-law, Marsha McNair, who's a former editor at Essence. She's a professor, a playwright, oh, wow. uh, author, very, yeah, very, the, one of the original <laughs> sisters. Oh, on wow. Fire. Nice. Yeah. And, um, you know, she wanted to make sure that we continue this celebration of Black women and sharing Black stories. So this is why we started this online series and celebrating women like yourself. So my first question would be, how would you define Sisters on Fire? Uh, it's, as I say, Sister on Fire for me, it's this girl, uh, this Black woman who just know she can do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, she just do anything she wants for her, for her sister, for, and let no one to break down. No one, no one to tell you you can do it. You can do everything. You can be a- anyone you want. You know, and mm-hmm. for me, definitely, this about just being strong and believe in yourself and do what you think right. Mm. I love it. Okay, so now in your life. Who have been Sisters on Fire that have helped you become the woman you are today? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, la, la. Um, so, <laughs> oh, you know, the thing is, mm, the thing is, my life is a little bit complicating with my parents, all these things. So mm-hmm. I always try to figure out who is the sister. I always try. I think the sister on fire who helped me to be who I am. I think definitely all these women who come to my show who buy my stuff, I mm-hmm. can lie. I can see. I, I think for me, it's it's not some. Yeah, it's it's the, the community I maybe create on on social media. Mm-hmm. Actually, I can I can say God. I can say God. I don't know if God is a sister. Yeah, I but love that. <laughs> I, I can I can say God, but for me. If I have to, first I would always say God, but is God a, a sister? I don't know because for me the best thing in my life is my faith. Is is definitely God who has been there for me. Is my sister, my brother, my everything. So first it will be of course God because yeah, He gives me everything and is my yeah, He's my best friend. He's my dad, my mom. He's my everything. But then I will say all the sister I, uh, who come to my my page who support my 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 artwork and give me love every day. Yeah, definitely. I love that. Okay, so now uh, just a couple questions. Lastly, I would say is what advice do you have for women who want to be artists and are maybe struggling trying to figure out what type of yeah what type of art what what type of niche should they have and then also how do they even if they figured that out how do they make a, a voice for themselves you you know like you you said you've built a very successful social media following and community how what advice you have for someone who would love to learn how to do that themselves okay i would say um don't be afraid don't be afraid to try new things don't be a try, a, afraid to to be yourself don't be afraid to practice uh to try think you 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 may be stuck you will never do and yeah definitely not be afraid i think being an artist even so we, we never if we we always afraid about how what people will think about us what am i enough good and watch watching the over no 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 just do 
your thing. Be yourself. And don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to fall. If you mm. fall, you just get up and you try new things. Don't be afraid. Yeah. I love that. Beautiful. Okay. So now you mentioned the tour continuing this year. Are there yeah. other things as well, or, or you want to give more details as to how people can, um, you know, come to the tour and, and also connect with you better? Oh, yeah. For the U.S., uh, we will start with Houston in March. So uh, we, yeah, Houston and Austin, I have uh, all these data where I know them on my web, uh, on my website and my social media, Instagram, Facebook, all these things. And yes, we will come, I will definitely come back in the U.S. I have so many things uh, I want to do better than last year. I have so many ideas in my head and I want to, to do um to, to show new things also. So yeah, I will I will announce all the dates and venue very soon on my website. Yeah. Okay. We will come we will come back in the, the, the other city the cities we, we went like last year and new cities and yeah I'm excited for that. Amazing. I can't wait and I definitely yeah hope <laughs> to meet you in person because I personally yeah I love your art. Where are you I, from? Where you live? Exactly. Uh, so I'm in New York. I'm in Long Island. Oh nice. Okay, I love New York. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I definitely want to come out to see you when you come here. So thank you for everything that you're thank doing. Thank you very much. Um, you have such incredible insight and and um just knowledge that I know everyone listening to will really appreciate. And thank you are yeah, you're a sister on fire and we love you and ah! doing everything that you're doing. Thank you so much for having me, Sister on Fire. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.